In my stats, I use MTL, which is important to have 75% ailment resist and VIT to increase my max HP. Hard hit to interrupt the enemy with flinch. Sonic Blade as an alternative for greater mobility. Heavy Armor Mastery increases guard recharge. First Aid allows us to revive allies faster. Shield Mastery removes the attack speed penalty when using shield. Knight Stance increases our aggro and reduces fractional damage received. Quick Aura consumes 15% of our HP to increases our attack speed. War Cry increases allies attack and removes fear. Berserk increases our attack speed and critical rate but reduces our defenses. I want to clarify that defenses are not the same as resistances. The amount of damage they reduce is minimal and does not affect as long as they are not negative. Having Gladiate active and receiving damage will recover MP depending on the amount of attack MP recovery we have. Finale is completely optional. I use it to close my combos. HP boost increases max HP and MP boost increases max MP. Even if we have 100% ailment resistance, certain bosses can inflict ailments on us, so we will use recovery to eliminate them. Sanctuary reduces the damage received by 90% if that damage is lower than 10% of our max HP. We will use heal to recover our HP. We can also use it on a downed ally to revive him from a distance. Shield cannon to interrupt the target with stun. Force shield and magical shield are resistance passives. Dual shields puts us in guard mode and while we do not use any skills reduces the damage received. Shield Repair is optional, recovers 50% of our guard. Protection and Aegis are resistance buffs, to use them I equip the Protection Star Gem. Guardian is one of our main tank buffs. Its benefits increase depending on the number of nearby allies. P Defense reduces all damage taken to zero. By not moving Ferrith generates one stack every three seconds that increases our ASPD and reduces fractional damage. Its effect scales with our base VIT. Knight will increases aggro and increases the healing limit of P defense. Sonic thrust to interrupt the target with tumble. Shikuchi allows us to get into auto attack range. Adlib at level 1 is optional to open combos. Frenzy dance increases tap damage for part breaking. Spirited dance to recover the MP of our allies depending on the amount of stacks we have. Astute dance reduces enemies dodge. If we receive damage during the Elegant Poise animation, it will be reduced by 50% and will make us invincible for 5 seconds. Backstep is a mobility alternative to get away from the target. Regretless at level 1 only to recover HP in the Guild Raid Countdown. Power Wave at level 10 to be able to attack from 10 meters. I usually use this combo to start the battle. I use this every 6 seconds to recover MP to allies, maintain berserk and generate aggro. If I use sanctuary I also add it to this combo. I use this to renew dual shields and war cry. These are the registlets that I use, I will also show some useful ones. You can pause the video to read them. For my main weapon I use Windgrace Sword, this sword is very good as it provides a large amount of critical rate and attack speed. The Anniversary Shield is the best in terms of balance of guard power and resistances. It is important to remodel the armor in heavy to increase guard power. We will be using Charming Lips mainly because of the large amount of motion speed it gives but Thanks to the fact that it gives 20% ailment resist we will only need 5% on our avatars. In my ring I use Time Warp Watch to increase my attack speed in exchange for reducing my resistances a little. 
As I mentioned before, we only need 5% ailment resistance on the avatars so we can accumulate other stats. As for the land buffs, I recommend these. And for consumables, I usually use Mage Ed, Terra Speed, and Spell Headphones. 